me and Melina have had this conversation before that there's an argument that's used oftentimes that women are the emotional ones and men are not the emotional ones. So they're the stoic ones. But in my opinion, that's just wholly not true. Men are quite emotional. And if you look at things like violent crime or whatever, I mean, like what more, what is what, like, what's a more raw emotion than anger or stuff that's expressed as violence? Like, so, and men get very angry and very violent uh, depending on the circumstance. So it just seems weird to try to say that like men are less emotional than women. Women are probably more emotional in certain types of ways and men are probably more emotional in other types of ways. But I don't know if I could draw like an absolute value of saying one sex is more emotional than the other. That seems like very reductive and impossible to measure. Well, I think I, I, I think that there's a difference in regards to the emotions. You're correct. Anger is an emotion and men often they go they're privy to that because it's single pointed focus for the masculine energy. Men are typically, there's tons of books written about it, TED Talks, they're not, no one's great at multitasking, but if anyone is good at it, it's women. We can juggle and balance a lot of things because we're supposed to be mothers, we're supposed to have children, that's why I can run a business and take care of a son and have a nonprofit and do a lot of stuff. Like I can be doing my Yoni eggs, Kegels right now while I'm doing this podcast with you. Like I can do multiple things at right. once, you know? So exactly. Uh, factors.com check out my shop you can buy the yoni eggs there but anyways so but men are not great at that you guys are more successful if you look at it like who are the are you good the, at doing kegels stop <laughs> i am doing kegels go ahead he's probably squeezing up on his perineum which is great too for men but in regards to like the fact that you guys are single pointed focus which is why most of you who are the top youtubers in the planet they're, they're mostly men. I looked at the, I know who they are. And some of them are, there's like a, a couple women that make the, the cut. But as a rule of thumb, most women are not pearly. And pearly, with all due respect to her, she is a, a I consider her a colleague and somewhat of a friend. She, let me say this very carefully, because I know this is going to get back to her. When you look at her at first, you don't necessarily see, oh, feminine women. But when she talks and her point of view is quite feminine in regards to the rules of masculine and femininity. I hope I said that, PC, because I don't like I don't mean any mil, ill will towards Pearly. Your girl or your wife, Melina, she actually kind of does look quite feminine. When you saw her, she was like me. She had a nice dress on her hair done. But then she opened her mouth and that was all undone. So I think in regards to yes, men have a lot of emotions, too. However, the emotion that they mostly go to is anger. Boom, they punch punch someone, it's over. They're very successful because their brain is more, more pronounced and more focused in this region, where women, we have a myriad of emotions. Earlier, I was not happy. Now, I'm happy. Now, I'm angry at you. Now, I want to have an O. Now, it's like we're always changing, and that is the feminine. Men are not like that as much, unless they're quite feminine or unless they're beta or the S word that everyone likes to throw out. So that that is like when it comes to a man that you want to look up to and to take care of your children, I don't know if you have children, but to like provide for your seed. Do I want a man whose emotions are like this up and then down and then I'm mad, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm angry, I'm confused, I'm lost, I can't make a decision. Or do I want a man that's like, I know what I'm doing right now, boom, and they do it. And that's what I want in a man. I would never date a beta. So I, I I agree with you on men are emotional too, but they channel that into the gym or into their, that's why men are more successful than women. There, I said it. That's why. Yeah. So know, I think, yeah, yeah. So I think I understand what you're saying. I mean, I disagree with literally every single thing you've said. I, I think to reframe almost everything you've said, like I can agree in general that you don't want to be with like a more emotional person or an unstable person. I just, I never understood why you guys gender this stuff. Like all the bad things you're describing of being like with an emotionally unstable guy who's changing his feelings. Like I nobody would want to be with a woman like that. Like that's, those are just bad qualities for anybody. Mm -hmm.